What's up guys, Jivin here bringing you another video. Today we're going to be talking about some OP crosshair placement tips that are going to help you increase your edit speed, improve your aim, and it'll help you become a more fluid player, more smooth. Let's hop right into it. So the first tip when it comes down to crosshair placement, which I'm sure a lot of you have heard before, is just to tighten up your edits. When editing, you don't need to do a wide movement. You just need to make the smallest possible range of motion to complete an edit. For example, I don't need to start way up here and go all the way down here. I can just do a tight little motion to complete an edit. The way you get better at this is just running through edit courses or practicing free building with a lot of editing and try to focus in on making smaller range of motion edits. If you lower your range of motion, your edit speed is gonna increase so much. Once you master this, it just comes down to how fast you can press the buttons because a lot of beginners, they just struggle with completing the range of motion of the edit. But once you get these tight edit angles down, it just comes down to how fast you can press the edit button, honestly. Because these tight angles literally take like a millisecond to complete. So like it just comes down to how fast you can smash that edit button. That'll be how many edits you can do like per second. But anyways, that's the general tip that everybody says in their how to improve crosshair placement videos. I'm gonna go into some stuff now that a lot of people don't talk about. Things that I focused on getting better at to improve my own game and that actually made a big difference. All right, let's get it. So one thing I'm gonna talk about is how you should be editing with fluidity. What I mean by this is one edit should lead to the next one. After you confirm an edit, instantly move your crosshair to where the next edit begins or where the targets are if you're, you know, editing on a person. If you can get to the point where you confirm an edit and as soon as you confirm it, you're already in the crosshair placement of where the next edit starts, you can just kind of whip through edits and have like the most optimal range of motion. I'm going to slow down some of my gameplay here and you should be able to see what I'm talking about. So as you can see, I'm gonna freeze the screen here. Right as I'm about to start this edit, my crosshair is already in the perfect place to complete the edit. This is what I'm talking about when I say fluid gameplay. Everything I do is in sequence, it flows together. You should try to be thinking ahead what you're doing next. Once you get to the point where editing is natural, all your edits should start to flow together, but you need to practice that. Try to practice thinking ahead while editing. What's your next edit gonna be? put your crosshair right into place so that you're set up to do that edit as fast as possible. And let's say you're about to edit a right hand peek on a target. As soon as you confirm that edit, put your crosshair right on your target, even if you're aiming at your wall. That way when you take the peek shot, your crosshair is already lined up and you only need to do micro adjustments to hit a good shot. So the next thing I wanna talk about is a lot of people try to just move super, super fast while playing this game. You know, they try to get in that cracked mindset and just whip their mouse around as fast as they can, yada yada, just like moving way too fast. And this causes a lot of people to miss a lot of shots. One thing that can help you improve your shoddy aim a ton is try to slow down your gameplay right as you're making the edit to take a shot on the opponent. So let's say you're setting up a right hand peek on somebody. You should slow down and try to move your crosshair to where the opponent is. Just take your time with it. Because usually when you're editing on someone, you're editing a right hand peek. So there's no reason to rush anything. You know, in the perfect situation, you have them full box and they have nowhere to go. So take your time. Charge up your shoddy if you have a charge. Just get everything in position and then deliver that heavy hitting shot. As soon as I confirm a right hand peek edit, I instantly move my crosshair to slightly below the opponent. You know, I'll be behind my triangle peek or my window edit and I just kind of line up my crosshair right as I confirm that edit, I line up my crosshair with where the opponent is. That way when I take the peek shot, I only have to do very minimal micro adjustments. Like I might have to slightly adjust my mouse to hit the shot, but the mouse is already there, so I don't have to flick or anything like that. The biggest thing that's gonna help your aim is just focus on tracking your opponent. Anytime you're about to take a shot, track, don't flick. Just try to keep your crosshair as close to your opponent as possible. This is the same if someone's about to psycho into your box, like they have a ramp behind them and they're about to phase jump into your box, line up your shot with their head. That way when they phase jump in, you can hit that big shot. But anyways, when I'm in arena and I'm fighting somebody, 
I move so fast, like when I'm trying to piece control them, I'm moving so, so fast, as fast as I can, trying to get them full boxed. And as soon as I get them full boxed, I make a right hand peek and I slow down, line up my shot and hit the shot. That's one of my biggest pieces of advice. Another thing is to try to pay attention to what they're doing in a fight. Maybe take your time before you go crazy trying to piece control. Try to read them for a little bit. Just track them through their builds. I know this is kind of out of the topic of crosshair placement, but it helps you improve your game sense, aim, and everything a lot. So basically, I wait patiently. I'm trying to read my opponent, and as soon as I see an opportunity to piece control them or take a shot on them, I move super fast and try to get that piece control done as quick as possible. I take my time reading where my opponent is, what they're doing, and as soon as I see what they're doing and I know how to piece control them, I go as fast as I can to do it, and then if I get them piece controlled, I slow down, line up my crosshair behind a right hand peak, and then take the shot. Now a lot of you might be wondering where I recommend to practice crosshair placement. Like I think I mentioned earlier in the video, the place where I recommend improving your shoddy aim while moving fast paced and trying to work on your edit crosshair placement is Raider's box fight practice map or his peace control map. Those are two maps where you can practice moving really fast while also working on your crosshair placement. If you're trying to improve your AR tracking from a distance and up close, Scovax or aim duels, and to improve initial mouse control, like if you're new to keyboard and mouse, I recommend using third-party programs like Kovacs or Aim Labs or stuff like that. Links to all the creative maps are in the description, by the way. Let's do a quick recap on the most important parts of this video. Most important things are, one, you need to be making tight edits. Two, your edits should be fluid. One edit leads to the next. After you confirm an edit, instantly move your crosshair to where the next edit begins or where the opponent is if you're making a right hand peek. When you're fighting somebody, make sure you're editing and building really fast, but also trying to read your opponent. And then if you get them full box or you're setting up a peek shot, make sure you slow down and try to line up your crosshairs with where the opponent is. And if somebody's psychoing into your box, make sure you line up that shot before they even psycho in so when they do, they instantly get bopped. And also know where your exits are, just in case you need to escape. One more thing you might be wondering about is crosshair placement while building. A lot of beginners struggle with building because things are placing in places that they didn't want them to go, and it's just screwing up their builds. This just comes down to experience with building, like you just gotta keep grinding through the builds until you finally get the moves down. Things that helped me improve my crosshair placement while building was just learning a lot of retakes. Stuff that seemed way out of my league and that I would never be able to do, I just forced myself to sit down until I could do it over and over again. And then after learning like 5 retakes, I could literally learn any retake in the game in like a matter of 20 minutes. The first few are always going to be the hardest to learn. But you just got to be paying attention to when you're trying to learn these retakes. Pay attention to what's going wrong while you're building. Say you place like a ramp over top of you when you wanted it to go below you. That's a crosshair placement issue. You need to be looking more down when you're placing the floor. It just comes down to trial and error when it comes to building. But if you're struggling with crosshair placement in building, I recommend one, learning a lot of retakes, and if you're just struggling to learn any retakes at all, I have a lot of building tutorials, and you can check those out in the description. Just watch those in slow paced motion and look at where my crosshair placement is while I'm building. I hope this video helped you out. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.